Hello, I'm Dennis Seaton. Today we're going to be demonstrating the Mighty by MotorVac Coolant Clean 3 Coolant Exchanger. It features two service modes. Okay, let's set up the system. We're going to start by checking the unit's service hoses, battery connections, and all external components for damage. Attach the unit's power harness to the vehicle's battery by connecting the red battery clip to the positive battery terminal and the black clip to a solid ground point as far away from the battery as possible. Fill the unit's reservoir with a minimum of 12 quarts of new coolant mixture. Connect the open-ended adapter to the unit's red vacuum hose and insert the red hose with the open-ended adapter attached into the unit's reservoir filler neck and into the tank assembly until it reaches the coolant mixture level. Please note, assure the adapter end remains below the coolant level during this procedure. Connect the clear braided waste hose to the waste tank nipple. Press the unit's three-way power switch to the vacuum position on the left and let the unit run until there is a continuous flow in the clear braided disposable hose without any air bubbles present. Next, move power switch to the off position and remove the adapter from the red hose. Install an open end adapter in the green hose coupler and direct the hose back into the clean fluid tank. Press the unit's top off switch to on and let it run until there is continuous flow of fluid from the green hose. Move top off switch to the off position. Move power switch to the center slash off position. Before disconnecting the hoses, momentarily run vacuum pump to relieve pressure. Now we're ready to do a static coolant exchange through the degas line. Depressurize the cooling system. This can be accomplished by carefully removing the pressure cap. Remove the hose running between the top of the radiator and the degas bottle. Note that a degas bottle is one with the pressure cap. In this presentation, we will refer to a bottle without the pressure cap as a reservoir. Using the appropriate supplied degas adapters, Connect to the open hoses. Connect the ends of the supplied flush loop to the degas adapters. Connect the Coolant Clean 3 to the two open ports in the center of the flush loop using the provided quick seal fittings so that the green supply hose flows new coolant into the opposite direction of normal coolant flow. Connect the red return hose to the other port. Open the ball valve on the flush loop. Install VS7 cooling system rapid flush into the degas bottle and replace the pressure cap. Start the vehicle letting it run for 10 to 15 minutes. Turn off the engine. Connect the unit's battery cables to the vehicle battery red to the positive terminal and black to the vehicle ground. Fill the Coolant Clean 3 with the desired amount of coolant and water or pre-mixed coolant. To use the onboard waste tank, connect the clear braided waste hose to the male port on the left hand side of the unit. To direct the waste to an external container, connect the open end hose to the braided waste hose and direct it to the desired waste container. Close the ball valve on the flush loop and press the service side of the control switch. The unit will begin pumping new coolant toward the thermostat while creating suction on the opposite side of the system, removing the old coolant. The push-pull process holds the thermostat open for a thorough coolant exchange. If coolant is not flowing, set the machine to the off position and switch the hoses to the opposite ports and then simply restart the machine. Use the top off or vacuum features to add new fluid or remove excess fluid from the degas bottle. Add the VS7 cooling system conditioner to the degas bottle and reconnect the degas bottle hose as it was prior to this service. Okay, 
Let's perform a static exchange procedure through the upper radiator hose. Depressurize the cooling system. This can be accomplished by carefully removing the pressure cap. Remove one end of the upper radiator hose. Using the appropriate supplied adapters and hoses, connect to the open hose into the radiator or the block. Connect the ends of the supplied flush loop to the degas adapters. Connect the Coolant Clean 3 to the two open ports in the center of the flush loop. Using the provided quick seal fitting so that the green supply hose flows new coolant in the opposite direction of normal coolant flow. Connect the red return hose to the other port. Open the ball valve on the flush loop. Using the Coolant Clean 3 vacuum feature, remove some coolant from the radiator. Then install a bottle of the VS7 cooling system rapid flush and replace the pressure cap. Start the vehicle letting it run for 10 to 15 minutes. Turn off the engine. Connect the unit's battery cables to the vehicle battery, red to the positive terminal and black to vehicle ground. Fill the Coolant Clean 3 with the desired amount of coolant and water or pre-mixed coolant. To use the onboard waste tank, connect the clear braided waste hose to the male port on the left hand side of the unit. To direct the waste to an external container, connect the open end hose to the braided waste hose and direct it to the desired waste container. Close the ball valve on the flush loop and press the service side of the control switch. The unit will begin pumping new coolant toward the thermostat while creating suction on the opposite side of the system, removing the old coolant. The push-pull process holds the thermostat open for a thorough coolant exchange. If coolant is not flowing, set the machine to the off position and switch the hoses to the opposite ports and then restart the machine. The process is complete when the Coolant Clean 3 new fluid level reaches zero. Use the top off or vacuum features to add new fluid or remove excess fluid from the radiator end or the reservoir. Disconnect the adapters and connect the upper radiator hose as it was prior to the service. Add the VS7 cooling system conditioner to the radiator. The Coolant Clean 3 vacuum feature will be employed to make room in the upper radiator for this product. The product may also be introduced to the open upper radiator hose prior to being reconnected. Let's discuss adjusting the coolant level and emptying the waste tank. To top off the cooling system, connect the open end hose to the green supply hose. Direct the hose into the area to be filled with coolant and press and hold the top off button until the desired coolant level is obtained. To remove coolant, connect the open end hose to the red return hose. Place the open hose into the coolant to be removed and press the left or vacuum side of the operating switch. Remove the hose from the coolant when the desired level is reached and turn the machine to the off position. To empty the waste fluid tank, you must switch the hose connections at the waste tank nipple. Disconnect the clear braided hose and put an adapter into the coupler. Direct the clear hose into the shop's waste tank container. Connect the red hose coupler to the waste tank nipple. Turn on the empty waste switch. The pump will stop when the tank is empty.